I am Dr. Chandrika HS working as an obstetrician and gynecologist at JP Nagar Second Phase Chirag Hospital also a visiting consultant at Apollo Cradle Hospital Jayanagar 5th block and Malti Manipal Hospital Jayanagar 9th block and Motherhood Hospital in Panchakri second stage using best contraception method see it depends upon the age of the individual and the number of years that they are married see when they are young they are married newly that is the time they are most fertile so we have to use such a contraceptive where it will be more effective okay so most effective contraception wise is the oral contraceptive tablets oral contraceptive pills so that will be almost 100% it will protect you against unwanted pregnancies and having that oral contraceptive pills is not a very dangerous thing so you can have it for a particular number of months till you are ready to go for pregnancy so that is one thing maybe at least after marrying yourself you can use ocps for few months that is maybe from 6 months to 8 months or 10 months or like that or maybe one year also and meanwhile the oral contraceptive tablets only we have so many varieties nowadays because way back it was all high dose hormones because it has advanced and it has progressed so much that nowadays we have oral contraceptives which has less amount of hormones that is the dosage of hormones is lower so we have that option and so you can use those ocps for preventing pregnancy when you are just newly married but uh, one more thing is you know, most of the individuals most of the ladies they are very scared to take anything internally so they don't like to take ocps so those people can use condoms so condoms is one thing which can be used only when it is needed because whereas in oral contraceptive tablets you have to use it for the whole month whether you are together or not sometimes they husband and wife are away from each other they'll rarely see and if they see for a few days also they have to take for oral contraceptive for the whole month otherwise it will not work so in such cases the best thing would be using condoms so that is the advantage of condoms is we will use it only when it is needed so that is advantage second thing is there is nothing that is going inside your body to cause any side effects so that is one thing and uh, one more thing is other contraception is uh, intrauterine contraceptive device that is iucd what is commonly called is common layman's term is copper tea so copper tea is one thing which is put inside the uterus and it stays there so when you are having the urge to have sex there is no need to use anything that time so you are already protected so that is one way it is safe because psychologically you are already having it inside and there is no need to use it when you are getting the mood to have intercourse so that is one thing but what happens is when you have put a foreign body inside the uterus there are chances of that foreign body giving rise to infection and if the infection comes it will damage the uterus and if it damages the uterus that uterine infection can ascend to the tubes the uterine tubes uterine tubes are the two tubes which will come on either sides of the uterus and they are very delicate organs okay so if they are infected there will be some flimsy additions inside the tube and it may get blocked so that is the reason we usually recommend that intrauterine contraceptive device that is copper tea we should not be putting it in nulli paris patients means in people who have not at conceived in not at had our babies so usually we recommend to put those copper teas after they give birth to a child so that is one thing and if you see any infection we immediately remove that copper tea so that the infection will not progress further and it will not ascend into the pelvis so that is one thing so and one more thing is you must have heard of vaginal jellies spermicidal jellies spermicidal jellies are jellies which are used inside the vagina which will have toxic effect on the sperms so that they'll kill the sperms and they'll prevent you from becoming pregnant so but this vaginal creams or anti sperm uh, jellies they are not very effective and they may fail sometimes so it is not good to depend on those contraceptives and one more thing is permanent method of contraception that is only for you after you finish your family that is finish how much of your children you have so you can permanently do the tubectomy or it may be either open method of tubectomy hand operation or it may be laparoscopy both are equally effective and nowadays in olden days laparoscopy used to have we used to have so many failure rates but nowadays laparoscopic surgeons have improved so there is no becoming pregnant in with laparoscopy also because they are equally effective so you can use either permanent method of hand hand operation or you can use laparoscopic method why i tell this is so many people when they age that is when they come to 40 45 they'll tell already i am 40 madam i don't want any operation but that is not correct because see when you come towards menopause your periods will become very irregular 
and suppose you miss your periods for some hormonal reason that time you will unnecessarily become tense that you may become pregnant and i have seen people becoming pregnant during the fag end of their reproductive age and that time they'll feel very embarrassing to tell anybody that they are pregnant also and they feel so embarrassed to come to the doctor also requesting for abortions so it is better to uh, end your uh, fertility by undergoing some method like tubectomy or laparoscopic operation for preventing yourself from becoming pregnant when it is not wanted